Hi, I'm Leslie Light. I work in the Engineering Design and Society Division, and this is my Friday failure video. Um, it's a tale of something that could have, should have, would have been a, a, an early career success, um, but because of my lack of confidence and some consternation, uh, led to a nightmare that uh, had me flee a country. So one of my first jobs out of college was uh, at a consumer uh, products manufacturer outside of Pune, India, where my job was to create and develop and debug and then help launch insulated beverage and food containers. So my very first product was the Gizmo 350 and it holds 350 milliliters of tea and uh, retails for about $2.50. And by the time it came to debugging, uh, we had to just make sure that all the various pieces fit together really well, like the glass insert and the stopper and the bottom and the body. Everything should hold together really nicely. So we did that and off it went into the markets and was very well received. Um, and during the process of debugging, upper management came in and said, um, Leslie, we have changed the name of your product. It is no longer the Gizmo 350. We are now calling it the Leslie 350. And I was slightly mortified being a 23 year old engineer, didn't want the extra attention, but also a little bit proud because it was my first product and I really liked it. Um, so off we went, went into the markets. Um, and about a few weeks into it, I was on to my next several products that I was designing. I picked up five Leslie 350s off the manufacturing line, Emboldt and everything, and I took them back to my lab to test them. And I filled them all with some hot water and uh, did some tests and found that four out of five leaked when you turned them upside down. So I ran into my boss's office and I'm like, we have to hold the line. There's a problem with the Leslie 350 and I need to explore what's going on here. Um, and he said, yes, I'll make some phone calls. You do the tests. So we split up and a couple hours later got back together and I was able to say, hey, it's the problem is the gaskets. Uh, they're not to spec. They need to be increased in their uh, thickness back to the design and that should take care of this. Well, he had found that there were no circumstances that were going to stop the line. Uh, so it was just going to keep producing them as is. And I was like, yo, my name is right on the butt here. Anything we can do? And the answer was no. Um, so I busied myself with my other work and put my head down and uh, finished my job. Um, and I had been in India for two years and eventually it was like, okay, time to go back to America. Um, and I wish I'd advocated more. I wish I'd advocated more for myself, for my product, um, uh, for the end users of my product. Um, and uh, my manager needed me to do that. I couldn't expect him to fight my battles for me. Um, and I wish I had asked him, how can we do this together? How can we make this case to the company? I didn't do those things. Um, I, I, I was compliant and I did my job and kept my head down. And I regret that. But anyway, thanks for listening to my video and good luck in your careers.